Hello everyone, you're welcome to the Laray Studios. We'll be talking today on how to get your project on GitHub. Software is at the heart of GitHub and code is the DNA of software, we all know that. Chances are if you're joining, you've got some code that you might want to push to GitHub and that is a cool idea. We have some great reasons for you to push projects to GitHub. GitHub is quite important during software development life cycle. We have version control. Something on GitHub is stored in Git. The best version control system around, if I can proudly say. Version controls definitely allows you to experiment and make mistakes in code without messing up your final code. You can as well keep your code in one place. Whether you work on multiple computers or just want to get some old projects off your computer, GitHub is the perfect place to store your projects online. In terms of collaboration, once your code is on GitHub, you can invite others to work on your code with you. Send them a link to help you debug a problem. They can actually help you to solve some bug. No, this is quite cool. Once your project is on GitHub, you can provide a URL for every file in your project. Git definitely GIT is the version control tool that GitHub is built on top of. While the GitHub is the company name of the software, they are actually specialized in building software and websites app you interact with git repositories in a nice way github.com is the website you log into to view repositories online and that boils us down to our major focus for today which is the github desktop is an application that you can install on your computer to help you synchronize local code with github.com Therefore, we will be looking vividly on GitHub desktop application and how to synchronize projects from your local directory to, the, to your account in GitHub via the GitHub desktop application on your PC. S first step is for you to have a GitHub account from git.com. You go to your favorite um, web browser. I'm using Google Chrome, so you 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 type in github.com. This is going to take you to the to this page, which is going to specify on how to sign up. So you have to have an account with GitHub before you can be able to use the GitHub desktop application. So afterwards, you move down to your GitHub desktop application by typing desktop that github.com from there you can have access to download probably if you're using a mac or a windows i'm using a windows machine ultimate 64 bit so i would have downloaded you down you click on this large blue icon which says download github desktop for windows 7 or later definitely it detects that my my operating system is windows so you download that which I've done and I've installed fully over here. So I will launch my GitHub. Yeah, I have it here. First of all, I would like to sign in. I move, there's, there's, there, there's a wheel here at the top right corner. You click on options. You're not signed into any account add a github account for quick access to your repositories or had a github enterprise account as if you if you're doing business with github i had my account i type in my username or password my password
I log into gate. So this is actually gonna log me into the get my repositories in github.com. That's fine. This is this is the interface which I have a master collection. I have some files right there. My, the latest one I uploaded is an action bra. So I'll walk you through step by steps on how to actually upload your project through the GitHub desktop application and synchronizing it to your github.com that's your account on the cloud service of git i'll have to minimize this i have my project called fragment basics it's an android project it's an android application project which i would like to to upload or synchronize to my github so i'll walk you through step by steps on how to actually achieve that i'll pick i'll click and drag my project which is actually living on the desktop to my git repository which actually tells me that i need to create the repository and my local part where it's actually coming from i click on create repository okay this is all working and at the back so at the top right corner i have my uncommitted changes which i need to effect before i continue i have some i have to do a first commit before my uh, my upload can actually take effect this is the first commit i need to do so i tend to glance through all files which i'm fine with it these are my these are the content of my file i'll quickly write a summary of what the project is i can type this this is a fragment basics basics a short description this project entails our fragment are being used in an android project in an android application or an android project an Android application so I have to do my first commit click on commit and I wait right at the far top corner the right top corner I can see my publish so this is actually waiting for me to publish my project to my github account in the cloud so i click on publish it's still telling me to log in definitely i was using a different interface so i log in log in taxing for the description which is just um it's just this is just a fragment analysis in android analysis the u it should be so I publish fragments basics. I publish that to git to my git repository. That's fine. So I need to confirm this. I need to launch my GitHub account from 
my browser to be so sure that I'm actually I've actually uploaded successfully so I need to sign in to check to check up on it if you can find it you can see it right sitting fully here the fragment basics so I need to click on it and see more about it probably there are some parts that are not taken this is the folder of the project this is the directories the, the Android manifest which you can actually see from here I don't know you can go back the rest folder the drawable they are all intact in a nutshell they're fine so with this you can share your link over here to others that actually want you you feel like giving them probably they will help you to, to fix a bug in your in your source code or they can assist you or you just want to share your source code to people to use or you want to share it to your students you want to share it whatsoever you know you can manipulate and use your code the way you actually feel like thank you very much for listening